Mel Gibson and Danny Glover reprise their roles as Murtaugh and Riggs in Lethal Weapon 5. From a possible release date and trailer, to cast, plot, and more, here's what we know about Lethal Weapon 5, the return of Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson and Danny Glover made their film debuts as Murtaugh and Riggs in Richard Donner's 1987 film Lethal Weapon. Oh, okay. No push. You want to kill yourself? Oh, fuck. Shut up! Yes or no? You wanna die? Yes or no? I got the job done! What the hell do you want? While the genre's roots can be traced back to Stray Dog and 48 Hours, Lethal Weapon is widely regarded as the most influential film of its kind, laying the groundwork with its blend of hard-boiled storytelling and comedy. It spawned a franchise, with Gibson and Glover returning in three more films. It was resurrected as a TV show, but Fox cancelled it after three seasons in 2019. They're not getting too old for this shit, even after all this time, so here's everything we know about Lethal Weapon 5 so far, including the release date, trailer, cast, and plot details. When is the release date for Lethal Weapon 5? Lethal Weapon 5 does not have an official release date as of December 2022, but we can expect it to be released sometime in 2024. The possibility of a relaunch of the series first surfaced in 2007. In 2011, Warner Brothers announced plans to reboot the Lethal Weapon franchise with a completely new cast, which resulted in the short-lived TV show. Donner believes Gibson turned down an earlier script written by Shane Black and Chuck Mondry because he wasn't involved and Black was set to direct. Donner told the Los Angeles Times in 2008 that Lethal Weapon 5 was dead in the water, even though he and co-writer Channing Gibson of Lethal Weapon 4 had an incredibly strong story for the fifth movie. It wasn't until 2017 that the possibility of a fifth film seemed to resurface, with Gibson, Glover, and Donner all willing to return if Warner Brothers would allow it. A year later, Donner confirmed the title would be Lethal Finale, and the film entered active development in 2020, with Donner back in the director's chair. He also stated that it would be his final film before retiring. Donner died in July 2021. Later that year, Gibson confirmed that he would direct the film to honor Donner, and that it would be exclusive to HBO Max, so don't expect to see it in theaters. The script was written by Richard Wank of The Equalizer, and Gibson hopes to begin filming in 2023. Lethal Weapon 5 Cast – Who's in it? Mel Gibson and Danny Glover will reprise their roles as Martin Riggs and Roger Murtaugh in Lethal Weapon 5. At the time of writing, no other cast members had been confirmed, so it's unclear whether Joe Pesci will reprise his role as Leo Getz. It's one of those things where it's a no-brainer if you ask me, Gibson said in an interview with Joe Blow. I worked on the screenplay, which was of course begun by Donner, and of course he and another guy had a pretty good template in place. Of course, Donner passed away. Then I sat in and we finished up the script, and I had a great time working with Richard Wenk. It's a pretty good document, you know, I dig it a lot. Gibson attributed the delay to a changeover at Warner Brothers, with David Zaslav stepping in as CEO following the merger with Discovery, which resulted in the cancellation of projects such as Batgirl. Over there, they're changing hats. This guy was fired, and this guy took over and Discovery and all that stuff, he continued. Sometimes you get lost in the shuffle as they try to regroup and sort themselves out. It will come. I'm not quite sure when, but it'll happen. Lethal Weapon 5 desperately needs to kill off Mel Gibson's Martin Riggs, but the belated reboot is incapable of pulling off such a major plot twist. While eliminating Martin Riggs in Lethal Weapon 5 may appear to be the simplest way to save the series, the belated sequel is not so simple. The Lethal Weapon franchise is returning to the big screen after a multi-decade hiatus, according to series star Mel Gibson. Following the death of the late great Richard Donner, Gibson claimed that he would take over directing duties on the sequel, and the actor stated that the much-delayed final chapter in the Lethal Weapon franchise would likely begin filming in 2023. However, the series faces an uphill struggle. For one thing, Gibson's history of racist, misogynistic, anti-Semitic, and homophobic remarks has turned off many viewers. For another, Gibson's performance as a corrupt, prejudiced cop guilty of police brutality in the controversial 2019 thriller Dragged Across Concrete demonstrated that the actor was not afraid to play characters that played off and glorified his public persona. The simplest way for Lethal Weapon 5 to avoid this problem would appear to be for the sequel to kill off Gibson's Martin Riggs, but this will not work for a variety of reasons. 
Killing Riggs in Lethal Weapon 5 is a no-brainer. The original script for Lethal Weapon 2 by Shane Black famously killed off Riggs, as did the Lethal Weapon TV show in its season 2 finale, when star Clayne Crawford was fired for inappropriate on-set behavior. However, Lethal Weapon 5 cannot replicate the TV show's approach in this regard. While Gibson's controversies and the character's advancing age make it tempting, the decision to kill off Riggs in Lethal Weapon 5 ignores the fact that Riggs and Murtaugh's chemistry is the main reason viewers want a fifth Lethal Weapon film in the first place. Lethal Weapon 5 is an intriguing prospect because for the first time in years, it would reunite Danny Glover's quiet family man Roger Murtaugh and Gibson's legendary Livewire Riggs. If Riggs is killed off, this death would adversely impact the formula of the series. There is no Lethal Weapon without both Gibson and Glover, as early reviews for the franchise's TV spin-off revealed. As a result, Martin Riggs' heroic death in Lethal Weapon 5 cannot follow in the footsteps of James Bond, Luke Skywalker, and Iron Man. Riggs's death devastates Lethal Weapon 5's biggest draw. The chemistry between Gibson and Glover is still the biggest draw of Lethal Weapon 5, and the main reason viewers want to see another sequel to the franchise. While Lethal Weapon 2 could have killed off Gibson and the franchise could have continued without him, the Lethal Weapon series was at its critical and commercial peak in the late 80s. Since then, the cancelled Lethal Weapon TV show, The Underwhelming Lethal Weapon 3, and the racist, unfunny Lethal Weapon 4 have weakened the franchise's reputation, implying that Lethal Weapon 5 will need both of its original heroes to reclaim an audience. The humor in Lethal Weapon distinguishes it from other action franchises. Riggs and Murtaugh's witty banter have always been a highlight of the films, and we can expect more of it in Lethal Weapon 5. The introduction of new characters creates new opportunities for comedy and character dynamics. Overall, Lethal Weapon 5 looks like a fitting continuation of the franchise, with the same thrilling action and hilarious banter that fans have come to expect. With a talented cast and crew and an intriguing plot, this film has the potential to be a worthy addition to the franchise. But what about the difficulties that may arise from making a sequel after so many years? There is always the risk that the film will feel out of date or out of touch with modern audiences. The filmmakers, on the other hand, appear to be aware of this and are taking steps to ensure that the film feels fresh and relevant. Setting the film in modern-day Los Angeles, for example, allows the filmmakers to address current issues and themes that audiences can relate to. It also allows us to see how the characters have changed over time and how they fit into today's cultural landscape. Another potential difficulty is living up to the expectations set by previous films. Lethal Weapon has always been a popular series, and fans have high hopes for any new installment. However, the cast and crew appear to be approaching the film with the same enthusiasm and dedication that they did the previous ones.